Hello, my beautiful community of 60 and me sisters. Hope that you're doing well. Thank you for being here today. Now, I want to talk to you today about something that's a little bit controversial and one that in a way goes against the, the values that I always talk about here on 60 and me. And that is as we get older, beauty gets redefined and we just don't look you know, as young as we used to, there are things that happen, <laughs> you know, and I'm a great believer in not worrying about how you look and going out into the world and just living your authentic life just as you are. You know, if you've got wrinkles, I've got age spots, I mean, a little bit of makeup here and there helps, but, you know, I really honestly don't think I need to look younger. Now, I've got a great uh, philosophy, actually, that I think the sillier that you act, the younger you look. And so that's probably the first thing I would talk about when I'm discussing how to appear younger um, in, in your life is just to you know be natural, be yourself, <laughs> go out there and have fun. Because I have found if I act young, you know, in the sense I'm exploring, I'm curious, I'm I'm trying to find new ways of doing things. I ask questions, I, you know, and I take an interest in my surroundings and the people in them. <clears> that somehow I appear younger because I'm 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 acting younger. So that's the first thing to do. You can do that without any props or any any things that I'm going to talk to you about, you can actually, you know, just appear to be a younger, youthful, more exciting, uh, vibrant person. Now, there are, however, some things that you can do that are scientifically based that can help you appear younger to someone looking at you, you know, for the first time, perhaps. Now, if you look at a person, I'm 75, by the way, so, you know, I've got, I've got all the things. <laughs> I've got the wrinkles. You know, you can't deny it. Those are wrinkles. They're life, my life um, pictures, my lifelines. And, you know, they're there. But um, when I do a couple of things, I can, I can make the appearance change. Now, as I was saying, it's science-based because what they've proven is that when you can do, when you do certain things, you, it, it, it kind of tricks the person who's looking at you. First of all, if you wear a hat. Okay, now, now my face, right? Okay, so if I put a hat on, I've got my, I've got the little thing on the wrong part there. Let's got a little side ornament. Okay, so when you put a hat on, it, it does one thing. It actually, you know, makes your face look less like an older person, like the wrinkles, the the you know the things that you associate with getting old, and especially if you pull your hair back, because if you pull your hair back, then you really don't see the you know, gray hair or whatever color the hair might be that actually associates you with a different age category. So hats, put a hat on, that apparently scientifically people can perceive or perceive you in a different way. Now I am a huge hat lover, right? So I've got many choices, but I'll put this one on because I kind of like this one. It's, it's a little bigger and it's a little bit more me. <laughs> okay, so this is my hat. Now, immediately, I, I the thing that's funny about hats is I feel younger in a hat because I act younger. You know, I do silly things. I mean, they are a prop for me. I just enjoy them so, so much. And if you can get away with a hat, this is where the number one thing you can do to, number one, trick people to thinking that you appear younger and also to physically, you know, kind of hide a little bit of the shadow, a little bit of the wrinkles, a little bit of the jowls and just make you feel and look, appear younger. And by the way, I repeat one more time, you don't need to think about this if you're not interested in looking or appearing younger because there's no rules and you don't have to do any of these things. They're just for fun, okay? So the second thing you can do is glasses. Now, I don't normally wear sunglasses, but I found this really cool pair with pink. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It's like a pink um, lens. They're plastic. They're, they're, they're not, you know, they're not um, prescription glasses at all, but... This is my pink glasses. And what I like is it makes the world look like, you know, rose, literally rose-colored glasses. So when you put that on, okay, so now what does that do to my face? Are you noticing my, my wrinkles in my eyes anymore? Are you noticing the jowls? You know, if you had you have a hat on, you can just play with it. You can just pose with it, have fun. And hats are really um, a great way to make it less um, possible for someone to notice those things like, you know, the wrinkles. Super easy. Now, these are two things you can do, hats and glasses. Um, they also do say that pulling back your hair, because then that kind of, if you've got gray hair, that kind of, you know, hides that um, age associated uh, characteristic. But here's the number one thing you can do. You can smile. <laughs> Try it. Okay, everybody, right now, smile. Ready? One, two, three, go. It just makes you feel younger.
And it's a natural facelift, I swear. I mean, I, you know, honestly, I've got all the wrinkles and all the jowls, but I do smile a lot. And so I think that that for me is just, um, makes me more approachable, I think. More like, you know, I'm okay. I'm not going to be in a kind of category of conversation or in, in a judgment. I'm just a, a young feeling person. Um, and that's, and when I say there's any value to looking younger or even appearing younger, it's more how it makes you feel. It's not got to do with the appearance at all. Uh, it's how it makes you feel able to move and have fun and enjoy this beautiful life that we can still do in our 60s and 70s and 80s and, and older. So the next thing I, I think I'd mention, I've, I've, talked about it I've talked about it before, and that is own it. Just own yourself, own who you are. Good posture, you know, walking with confidence moving as if you have a place on this planet that you are you know that you're important that you have a role to play you have something to offer that you're valuable that you're you know that you're useful in this world there's you know there's things you can share there's wisdom and when i say wisdom i don't mean like knowledge i just mean understanding you know and perception about the world you know and you can then people can see you as someone that could talk to you know you're, you're approachable so if you stand tall hold your shoulders back put your you know your and don't look down all the time although I do because I'm always looking for things to trip on but you know we do that but but keep your you know when you can just keep your head up your eyes looking forward and just you know look around you and just be present in that place own that posture own that that place you own on the planet, that little place that's yours, okay? Uh, another thing is to wear bright colors. Now, today I'm wearing black, and I did that actually for a reason, because I accentuate black with all kinds of other colors. Like this is a pink necklace. I have my coral, my, my um, colored beads that I wear. And I think that the it's got to be basically the shades that complement your skin tone. Now, I have a neutral skin tone with a slight pink, undertone so i wear in fact the foundation i'm wearing today is actually a new sephora brand of, of uh, foundation which is very cool and it's a, it's a p is pink p for pink they've got neutral pink and cool um and so there's something about pink for me that is complementary um but you know if i find the shades that work for your skin tone for your undertone and by now you know maybe we've talked a little bit about you know undertones that you've got that bluey tint or you've got a pink tint and that is, you know, then you wear the, the colors on your, in your clothes and in your accessories that bring out that, you know, and highlight that, that skin tone. Again, move away from these age-related markers. You know, I mean, just put a pop of color around your neck. I haven't got any scarves to show you, but I do have actually this very cool, um, uh, like a jacket. I'm going to just put it up here so you can see. You know, so if I put that with it, if I was if I was to add a scarf, you can actually do that. And, you know, again, complementary colors that, you know, just make you feel like you can interact with the world, that you've, you've found, you've found your color, you've found your, um, you know, your, your style. And I think having this engaged and active and interested um, lifestyle is the thing that really you know in, makes people feel that you're there's, it's not that you're looking younger it's just that you're ageless age does not become an issue it's not something that they're judging or commenting on or feeling inside they're actually you know it's feeling like you're like you're, you're just your natural you and, and someone they want to get to know so that's where you know friendships I think can happen at all ages. It doesn't have to be a friend who is your own age. I think we have room for everyone in our lives if you have that positive attitude. So put on a hat, put on some glasses and walk tall, smile and be your beautiful authentic self on this planet. You are beautiful, whatever your age is, Trust me on this. <laughs> I love you guys. Take good care. Bye-bye for now.